Right now at 9, we continue to follow a breaking news. ABC News confirming Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to formally enter the race for president next week. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Nathalie Pozo. And I'm Aaron Guy, our co-anchor Stephen Graves, following this big breaking news story for us this morning. Stephen. Nathalie, Aaron, this coming after months of buildup and, of course, speculation. But as you just said, this all expected to become official next week. ABC News says Governor Ron DeSantis is set to file paperwork with the Federal Election Commission. Now, this means he can start to get donations from donors. This would also come as top donors gather in Miami next week, but that would not be the official kickoff of it. Sources say a formal campaign launch would likely come the week of Memorial Day. Sources tell ABC News Governor DeSantis is thinking of holding the event in his hometown of Dunedin, Florida, but the plans are not set in stone. That source cautions plans could still change, of course, as DeSantis's timeline for his 2024 rollout has already been moved up after initially eyeing a mid-June event. A spokesperson for DeSantis declined to comment on all of this right now. Once Governor DeSantis makes that official announcement, he will be joining a long list hoping to win in the GOP nomination. Let's break it down here. You see it on your screen. Those candidates include former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. On the other side of the aisle, there are already two candidates challenging President Joe Biden. Democratic nominees include Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Now, all of this coming as Governor DeSantis has traveled the country, most recently here in Florida, signing bills into law regarding stricter immigration and LGBTQ rights policies. One voting rights bill still to be signed would, in part, allow anyone who holds a state office to run for president or vice president without resigning. Democrats call it an attempt to pave the way for DeSantis to run in 2024. Supporters of it, though, say it's just more of a clarification to a state law. Of course, we will stay on top of all of this developing news and bring the latest as we get it. In studio, Stephen Graves, WPBF 25 News. Stephen, thank you. And as primary season heats up and more candidates enter the race, be sure to download our free WPBF 25 News app. We're keeping a close eye on DeSantis's possible announcement. And of course, we'll keep you updated with the latest information both on air and on.